Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Common English Mistakes. Don't just learn, improve. So today we're going to look at the common mistakes, issues and confusion uh, with prepositions of place. It's quite a big area. Uh, there's a lot going on and it can get quite confusing. So today we're just going to focus on prepositions of place with the town city. And after the video, you should feel confident and be accurate when saying where you are in the world. So anyway, the mistakes are up here. So just pause the video and try to correct the prepositions. And well done. If you said I was at the beach yesterday, I lay on the sand and I swam in the sea. So let's look at the first sentence. I was at the beach. Just pause the video and think, is this a general place or a very specific exact location? And well done if you said this is a general location. So when we want to say generally where we are, we're going to use the preposition at. And this is the one you're actually going to use the most. This can either be a place in a town or city, at the supermarket, at the beach, at the cinema, or it can be as part of a phrase with no article. At home, at work, at school, at university. Or it might be an event. At a concert, at a party, at a football match. So, for example, you might have these dialogues. Where do you want to meet tomorrow? Let's meet at the station. Do you want to go watch a movie? I'm sorry I can't. I'm at work. And what's that noise? I'm at a concert. All of these to give general locations with preposition at. So let's say your friend phones you and says, where are you? You say at the beach. And he says, oh, cool. I'll come join you. Then when he's at the beach, he calls you and says, where exactly are you? When we want to give an exact location, we're going to use in or on. Sometimes another preposition, but usually one of these two. And maybe you say we're on the beach near the rocks. On we use for when it's on a surface. So on the beach on the grass, on the ground. Or maybe you say, we're in a cafe. In for when it's an enclosed space, you're inside or surrounded by something. So in a cafe, in the restaurant, in a room. So let's contrast that with those other general location sentences. Let's meet at the station, general, but in the cafe, specific, or on platform one. Uh, I'm at work, general, but in my office, specific, which is on the first floor. Uh, I'm at a concert, general, and I'm in the main room. Generally, when you're giving the specific location, um, the preposition is usually in, just with how the world is. But before we move on, um, here are some things which are used with in and with on. However, uh, there is something slightly different, which is when we talk about countries, cities, regions, or sort of flat areas. So just pause the video and try to correct this sentence. 
and well done if you said I live in Madrid. For flat areas, okay, which includes countries, cities, regions, areas of cities, we're going to use preposition in. But this also includes things like in the mountains, in the hills, in the forest, in the city centre, and also smaller things, in the park, in the main square, or just in the garden. All of them are flat areas, preposition in. And final thing to say is, um, for some of these there is some overlap, uh, for example, especially with supermarket and park. Perfectly correct to say, I'm at the supermarket, I'm in the supermarket. I was at the park, I was in the park at the weekend. Both are fine. But as a general rule, if you want to give general location, use preposition at. If you want to be specific, use in or on. In for when you're inside, enclosed in something. On for when you're on the surface. And then for country cities or flat areas, use the preposition in. If you remember that, you should be fine. So now let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put at, on or in into these sentences according to the rules which we've just studied. And well done if you said I was at home in my room this morning and my apartment is on the third floor. Uh, the last time I swam in the sea was in Greece. Uh, the last time I was at a concert a long time ago before the pandemic and it was in a pub in London. Um, I was at a party at Christmas time uh, and I spent most of the time in the living room. And finally, uh, the last time I was in the mountains uh, was last summer. And I stayed in or at a campsite in Scotland. So now just pause the video and write, say or discuss the same sentences for you. Anyway, that's basically it for today. Um, if you can just remember these general rules, you're going to avoid most of the mistakes other people make when talking about location. It gets a little bit more difficult, technical, silly, uh, when you're talking more specifically in buildings, like in bed, on a sofa, at a desk, uh, but I'll cover those in a later video. Until next time, see ya!